Hi, I'm Rachel Arnold with On Native Ground and I'm here at the 2011 Sundance Film Festival. I'm here with Billy Luther, who was the director and writer for Grab, which premiered here yesterday. Um, can you tell me more about the documentary you did? Yeah, it's a, it's a hour-long film about Laguna Pueblo. I'm part Laguna. And it's about this annual event called Grab Day, um, where they throw groceries off the rooftops in honor to honor a family member and also to um, give back to the community. And I follow three families as they prepare for it and really show like a life of, of contemporary native people in Laguna, which is in New Mexico. Um, were they supportive um, when you told them of what you wanted to do? Yeah, it, they were. I mean, I, I, I went in with my intentions. I got the permission to film and yeah, I mean, it really worked out great and 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 they knew I wasn't going to exploit I wasn't you know they, and they a lot of them saw Miss Navajo my last film mm -hmm. so um, it, it kind of was a little bit easier just getting that access so you were very respectful towards their privacy maybe respectful to the privacy of um, you know specific traditions and ceremonies of Laguna people but um, we we were filming these families lives so we were in their house you know as they were waking up brushing their teeth so I mean sometimes they didn't want the camera rolling but we were it we were there so they were completely okay with that like they had your back a hundred percent yeah they did I mean every, I, I think you know whenever you're being filmed you don't know what footage is going to be used or how it's going to be edited but I just told everyone don't don't worry about it don't worry about it are they gonna have a chance to see the film yeah after Sundance we're um, working on probably in the next com you know probably a couple months we'll start um, planning a, an event. I want to have an, a, a screening that involves the community and I don't want something that's just thrown together. I want it to be a really great event for them. You know, with the reception, the screening, and I, I really want it to be something special. I don't want it to be. So yeah, we're, we're working on that. Um, do you plan on making any more films or documentaries in the future? Yeah, there's like a few in development now. Um, I'm right now, uh, World of Wonder, who executive produced Grab, um, they also executive produced Miss Navajo, were developing a docu-series for TV about Native Americans. So we're um, developing that. So I think, I, and I just, I'm really excited about that. Just because, you know, you don't see Native Americans on television. Yeah, yeah. So when, and I think, you know, with a docu-series, I think it would be really refreshing. Because you know it's, and I, I'm not I'm not thinking like the Jersey Shore route, but I'm more thinking more of uh, a, a yeah. much better, 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 Cla classier. You know. Yeah, a little more classier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any advice for the youth of what we're doing here, um, following your steps in any way? I just keep keep going. You know, you're going to get a lot of rejections. I mean, people are always going to tell you no for funding. Um, your ideas but just keep going just don't take no for an answer I mean I it was you know my funding for um, grab and Miss Navajo many rejections and but just made me work harder and when you complete a film and you premiere at something like Sundance I mean it's it's incredible because yeah. you remember those no's you know and I think but also you know even if you don't get into Sundance don't take it personally I mean there's always another festival so you know it's just one of those things yeah, there's complete there's so many opportunities that you could do um, yeah. so do you feel like your documentary film was a su success after yesterday's screening I do yeah I do I, I, I today you know we have another screening today at four so I'm really looking forward to um, seeing what this audience is gonna yeah. how they're gonna respond but I mean, after yesterday, I mean, there's no, I mean, it's, it was incredible. It was really, it was really, I think for me, what was great is having almost my entire crew who worked on the film here, editor, my camera people, my sound people. And it's because we worked hard on this film and we really, I think to see it on the big screen was a reward in itself. And um, just because it took four years for us to make this film, and uh, from development to you know shooting yeah. to editing to projection. So 
takes a long time. You know, the average they say the average documentary is about takes about five years to make, mm-hmm. and um, just gotta have patience, which is hard because I'm very impatient. So it kind of like developed into a sort of a baby, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, it did because yesterday, just I was telling somebody, I just felt like I gave birth yesterday. You know, it's like it, I just been carrying this child yeah. with me, and it's like you, finally you work so hard. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's like after yesterday, I was like the nerve. I'm, I'm not as nervous today as I was yesterday because you know you don't know how the cor- people are going to respond to it or the tape is going to play right or the film you know you just never know the sound levels so you're just always thinking and worrying about stuff did you leave the audience intrigued i did i think you know usually like when you when you go to screenings and there's a q and a usually half the people leave you know but majority of the people, about 90% of the audience stayed so i think they really wanted to hear and um also, I think what people really like to, especially at Sundance, is I brought out um, one of the subjects. She, um, you know, I said, I, I would love for you to come out, you know, if you can come out. And so she, you know, paid her own way to come out. And because it's not cheap. It's not cheap coming out here to Sundance. And it's it takes a lot of time, money, and, um, you know, so... And then living in LA, you know, I don't have any winter gear. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to invest and buy yeah. snow boots. But um, yeah, I think people like to to interact with, with with filmmakers and subjects and actors and you know all that. Well, I appreciate you taking time out for um, the youth here to interview you, and I wish you much success on your film here. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so out there, the grab here at Sundance. Hopefully, you guys can make it. If not, maybe possibly buy it on DVD. Shows. Native American culture in a completely different perspective. It's amazing. Um, This is Rachel Arnold signing out. My name is Billy Luther. I did the film Grab, producer-director, and you're on Native Ground.